Hey guys, Ron here. EV split testing for conversion optimization. Um, I run constantly AB split tests pretty much every day and I've been doing it for as long as I can remember. The reason is um, the data that I get from it is just, the insights is just so invaluable. It's hard to even uh, put a price on it. Because time is your scarcity. It's not the money, the time is the scarcity. I watched a movie yesterday um, while I was on the computer uh, putting up ads. Uh, the Lucy movie. If you haven't seen the Lucy movie where it talks about her going from 10% of her brain capacity to 100% of her brain capacity. And he talks in that movie, Morgan Freeman talks about how the time is the scarcity. Humans are, are always trying to gain more time. So what AB split tests do is it helps us um, know where to focus our time. So just an example of some ones that I did in the last few days. Um, I'm changing price points constantly on some real estate ads because I want to see um, it isn't just what gets the most calls, it's what gets the best quality of type of call that we're looking for. Um, so I play around with the price points. Another one that I'm playing out around with is what about people that are looking for a place five months from now? Are they people that plan ahead more? Um, and possibly if they're planning ahead more, then they're not so reactionary and they're better people to work with because maybe they have more money to play with and they just have more time on their side. Uh, even though it'll take longer for the pipeline, uh, what we found is going out five months ahead actually is too far out. It doesn't actually get any calls. Um, the good news is I, I get so many calls, um, usually a given day, that I had what's called statistical significance um, very quickly. Um, I switched at 7 to 8 o'clock at night. By noon the next day, it had uh, received one or zero calls, um, which is obviously very unusual based on how many calls I usually get. So it didn't have to run it for a week. I didn't have to run an EV split test for a week. I knew that I could run that just till like noon the next day because normally I would have five or eight calls. So I knew that it was just too far out. So I brought it into like January 1st, which is more like three or four months out. Um, let's see, October, November. Yeah, it's about four months out, I think, three to four months out. And that actually did pretty decent. It got some phone calls. The calls are de definitely down a lot. So we may end up um, going a couple months out instead of five months out so to get that sweet spot um, that's the good thing about AB split testing you get the sweet spot on the price point you get the sweet spot on the duration and the timeline and then you play around with the headlines and you might try 10 or 15 different problems in the headlines um, you tired of where you're renting now or you paying too much or you tired of throwing money down the drain you're trying different headlines different problems and what you think is the biggest problem or whatever your gut is, isn't necessarily what it is. There's a demand in the marketplace. You have to A-B split test those. And it's good to have 15 or 20 running all at once. So as a week goes by, you find out what got the most calls. It wouldn't make sense in that particular one to do one one week, another one another week, because then you're out three, four months before you get those answers. So you want to be able to run them all at the same time. That's that's not always the case there's a lot in most split tests you only want one variable you know so but you can it's a multivariate you can run a couple different variables at once i can have all those I, i'm used to getting all those different calls with a lot of the different questions and the problems but i can have the one same variable which is the timeline of four or five months out or three months out so that part i can keep as a constant and just run that variable against another one the next day. But um, And then just know what your metrics usually are. So you have the statistical significance that you're used to. A lot of people say it should be 100 hits. A lot of people should say it should be 1,000 hits. That's really hard to say because there's so many different factors. You'll get a gut feel and an intuition for it over time. One thing I will say is you want to get really good at getting traffic on the internet um, because you want to get that statistical significance to test these A-B split tests and these variables. You want to help do process of elimination. You want to get to that point within four hours or half a day. You do not want to wait a week or a month on some of these split tests. I know a lot of people talk about that um, on some different videos. They talk about you know, I ran a split test for three weeks or a month or something like that. They're talking more about refining split tests, AB split tests. They're talking about the refining ones. I like to spend a lot of time, invest a lot of time on ex exploration split tests because I just, there's a lot of paradigm shifts that come with that. And there's so many 
big ideas of you don't know what you don't know. So that it's very important that you are constantly exploring beyond what you, the capacity of what you're even thinking right now. And because you could be, you could be going down one road and refining a split test that you thought worked okay, and you could be refining that for like three months. Meanwhile, you should be testing three completely other things that win just by default because they're just better ideas. They're better problems that need to be solved. So it's very important, even when creating a product for product, 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 for product market fit for a company, very important to do a lot of wide exploring. Like test it on Facebook, test it on Twitter. I've tested stuff on Twitter. I think Twitter is more of a live audience. Um, Facebook is cool if you figure out how to get the viral part to work really well. Blog, I think, is better for long copy. Um, so these are just different things that you need to split test. And there's a lot of variables going on all at once. So you don't want any false positives and you don't want to be tracking it the wrong way. So that's all I got for now.